What are some of the best ways to invest in cryptocurrency? Well, friend of the channel, Jerry Banfield and I are going to be going back and forth, sharing our own personal experiences. So please understand this is not financial advice. Full disclosure, we do hold some of the coins that we will be speaking about in today's video. But Jerry, welcome back. Let's get into, you know, what are some of these best ways to start investing in crypto? And the, the differences, there's a lot of different nuances. I know you're favorable for a few different ways to invest. I think I'm maybe a little bit more risky. So, you know, what are some of the things you want to talk about and share with people who are maybe new or are just starting their cryptocurrency journey? And, you know, some of the wisdom that you've had over the last seven, eight years of doing this. Well, in nine years of crypto, what I can see is the importance of knowing thyself and uh, honestly evaluating your own situation prior to going out there and investing. Because... Joe is on you are on the advanced side of crypto. You've you've made lots of money in crypto and that's where a lot of people delusionally think they are. So what I'd like to do is present a few different basic investor templates that viewers could identify with and say, "Oh, based on this I'm probably that type." So the type the first type of investor and this would be probably the vast majority of people in the world is an investor who's simply interested in preserving wealth and building wealth. This means you are tired of having the spending power of your dollars erode in the bank account, banks giving tiny little certificates of deposit. You want to invest, you'd like to be a millionaire someday, you'd like financial freedom, and uh, you uh, want to buy a crypto where you're not going to lose money. And for that strategy, uh, it, the ideal is either to just dollar cost average into Bitcoin or dollar cost average into Bitcoin and Ethereum and maybe at most one or two altcoins. Now, so many people are, want to put themselves out of that class and say, well, no, I need more risk or more life-changing income. But here's the kind of person I would say is the archetype, the typical person who fits in that class. Typical person who fits in this class is someone who's never invested before or has almost no investing experience like me when I first started in crypto. I'm talking you've bought a couple of stocks or something like, but really you don't know almost anything about investing if you're honest. I'm talking people who have a job or maybe two or three jobs and don't have much time to devote to researching cryptos. I'm talking about people who are living paycheck to paycheck or maybe barely a step beyond that and would like to someday have things be a bit better. And that is most people in the world. That's most people's life, living paycheck to paycheck or just a step beyond it and having an existing job and a lot of time. If you are a busy person, you would fit into this category. If you have a family, you almost definitely fit into this category unless your spouse works and you've got lots of play money and your situation is more like Joe's than like I'm describing. So to me, that's kind of the primary investor archetype. And what I see is so few people in crypto want to admit, like that's that's where you belong. DCA into Bitcoin and Ethereum, maybe one or two altcoins, put maybe a handful of hours into crypto each week and work on being a millionaire and preserving wealth. I've started teaching this strategy from that point of view because somebody needs to teach the masses. And uh, I'm interested to hear, Joe, what is your archetype of a crypto investor that is yeah, much different from what I'm sharing and how can people identify whether they're more like what you're saying or more like what I've said. Well, Jerry, it all comes down to the person's goals. Like you said earlier, what is your goal? If your goal is to simply preserve wealth, then there's a certain strategy that needs to be implemented for such strategy. Now, if your goal is to attract and build life-changing wealth, meaning that your lifestyle is going to change dramatically day to day because your increase of finances, then there is a completely different approach to doing that. I can say that I'm probably closer to the second option, but truthfully, I've already been somebody who's had success with business. So my day to day hasn't really changed very often, even with that second strategy here. So the second strategy that I teach people and I've taught people for many years now in crypto is 
getting into new high speculative, high risk assets. The reason why is because it can bring you those life-changing gains where your day-to-day -day lifestyle will change. That doesn't mean though that it's guaranteed. That doesn't mean though that also there's no risk involved, okay? So this is very speculative and very risky. But if you pay attention and you do the work and you actually get in there, then if, you know, if you're somebody who's lazy, no matter what you're gonna do, it doesn't matter if you choose crypto, a job, a bit, it doesn't matter. You're not gonna be successful no matter what. Now, if you're somebody who is hardworking and is willing to be persistent and is willing to be coached, right, is willing to learn from somebody who's doing something, then you have a chance to actually build that wealth and you probably have a chance to build that wealth in anything. Now, the reason why you would choose cryptocurrency is because cryptocurrency is the highest appreciating asset class of all time. That's what attracted me to crypto. So if I looked at myself and went, all right, where, where's the money in life? And where the money is right now is in crypto. There's billions of dollars and there's going to be billions of trillions of dollars more coming in. So to me, I still think that I'm early to the entire space. The fact is you walk down the street, most people have no idea what crypto is. And they have no idea how to use it or do anything with it. You're still that early. Now, at some point you won't be. So there is a massive advantage to people who have actually put in the work and do the work and actually take the risk. Now, if you don't want to take that risk, then yeah, what Jerry said earlier, Bitcoin, Ethereum, small DCA, you're good to go there. But in my, in my opinion... And you probably could outperform the S&P and other uh, asset classes just because you're in the right place, aka crypto, the highest appreciating asset class of all time. Now, again, nothing's ever guaranteed because there's a lot of volatility in crypto. See, people want the number to go up like crazy, but they're not willing for their investment to go down by 99% in order to get that upside. So the truth is, is you have to understand these things. If you don't understand these things, you need to learn these things. If you don't, if you're not willing to learn these things, then you should just not be in crypto at all. Okay. Like truthfully, if you're not willing to learn, like you're in the wrong place. All right. So you need to be learning all the time. That's what Jerry and I do all the time. We're always learning. We're always bettering ourselves. We're always figuring out what the next thing is going to be. And the only way that you do that is you put in the effort. You got to work at this and there's no shortcuts. You know, everyone thinks that they can peck, pick the next meme coin that's going to make them an overnight millionaire. The people that actually did that spent tens of hours, hundreds of hours of literally learning. And then they got their wallet ready. Then they had the, the money ready. And it's like all these things came out to that result. But most people just see that result like, oh, they just bought some stupid meme coin and they're a millionaire. I could do that. Then they go and try to do that and then they get wrecked. And the truth is, is like, yeah, you will most likely get wrecked doing that. Most people do, but there will be people that win. And the people that win are the ones that I just described earlier who are willing to put in the efforts. So if you are willing to put in the efforts, there is massive rewards here in crypto. There's no doubt about that. But also too, there's massive downside risk. And I don't think enough people share like what that massive downside risk is. For example, a coin like Cardano. Cardano in its last cycle went all the way as high as $1.11, two cycles ago, when that was its first all-time high. From there, it went down to a penny. You lost almost everything if you would have bought at the top and then sold at the bottom. You would have literally turned $100 into like two, okay? Now, the truth is, if you would have bought that $100, right, and just held through the whole next cycle, you would have actually tripled your money. That's crazy to say, but you would have even making that huge mistake. So what's my point? The point is, is that there is so much volatility in this. There's so much mistakes and potential that you can make. And that's what gives the opportunity for the upside. So if you're looking at, okay, is there a mistake to make in Bitcoin? Well, you could buy a 30,000 and sell at 28. Okay. Maybe you lost 2% of your money, right? 5%. No big whoop. There's not as much volatility anymore. You do that same thing with an altcoin, you could lose half your money like this. So I think for me, it's educating yourself on the volatility and how all this works. And the only way that you do that is you either find a mentor, right? Or you just start playing around with this and you you learn firsthand. And you don't need to learn firsthand because you can learn from people like Jerry and I who have done this firsthand already. So that right there is worth all the money in the world. If I could have invested a couple hundred dollars to learn from somebody who has risked hundreds of thousands of millions and learn all those mistakes, that could be the best education of my entire life. So Jerry, is there anything else I'm missing here that you'd love to share with people about how, you know, some of the best ways, as well as, you know, how to avoid maybe some of those mistakes that we've talked about? Yes, it's getting honest with identifying your situation. Most people are very risk averse because the human mind is more programmed to hate negative and to hate losing than it is to go after wins you kind of have to be much different from usual to do well with the high risk strategy. I want...
people to get more honest with themselves about which kind of strategy is appropriate because so many people want to do what you do but they don't have the time they don't have the risk appetite they don't have the mentorship they uh, don't have what it takes to do what you do and uh, that level of honesty within can help like okay i'm it's okay to go just DCA into Bitcoin and Ethereum and maybe pick an altcoin or two and DCA into that too. Like, it's okay to do that. You don't have to feel like that you need to be like Joe in order to be really trying your hardest. And sometimes, you know, some of us, crypto, I've put a ton of time and energy into crypto like Joe has. You know, I've been really excited about it since I found it in 2014. You know, that's not, not everyone gets excited over the same stuff. It will help to ask other people in your life what they think because sometimes other people like if you've got a spouse if you've got co-workers like ask them hey do i look like you know a bold risk taker able to handle huge volatility play a game you know maximize my profits time my investments or do i look like a simple mother who should probably just dca you might be surprised people are like you know they might tell you like nah you you shouldn't be doing anything difficult <laughs> And that, that might be some of the best advice you get because Joe can afford to lose. You know, I've seen a lot of you that have joined my group and decided to take the more conservative approach after you've lost and you, you worked up to a $10,000 life savings and you blew all of it on one dumb coin. And Joe, I could have told you in five seconds was crap. It's important to know thyself. And that's where a lot of us are weak is... You know, we don't know what our own strengths and what our own weaknesses are. If you're very emotional, crypto is not good for you. Like, you need to be very, very cold and calculating and rational. And I mean, Joe's pretty cold and calculating and rational. And it, I know you put you, the trade you executed, because I asked you about it in previous videos. You put months of work into being prepared at the exact right time with the exact right coin and you had all your money ready and you executed a trade and made a few hundred thousand. I mean, that's that took a lot of time and planning to be prepared for one, you know, single buy and, you know, the cells that went with it. So I hope that we we can help you figure out what kind of person are you. And if you can honestly say you're a person like Joe, then you ought to be working and get to know Joe as much as possible. Because I also know, you know, Joe pays for coaches and mentors in areas that he wants to get good at. He doesn't just sit there and watch videos and hope things work out. You know, you, you need to get close to the people who have what you want to have. So, Joe, what do you think about that? And is there anything we should add to wrap up? Well, Jerry, I mean... This is some really, really good alpha that we've shared here today. And it's maybe a little bit different of a video that we've done. But truthfully, risk versus reward and what I'm risking, to me, I'm willing to be very risky because you're right. If it all goes to zero, it doesn't matter to me. Like I'm playing with house money. And I've been talking about this a lot recently. And the truth is, is like, that's where you want to be in crypto. So let's say, for example, you make $100,000 a year just for round numbers. Okay, let's say you do. From there, let's say you take 10% of all you earn and you invest in that, okay? So that's $10,000 a year, right? From there, right, it should be as if, okay, the 90,000, I pay taxes and do all their things and I, I don't need to, uh, it's basically house money to me. So that's where if you take 10,000 and let's say you, you know, maybe take a little bit of a, you know, less risky approach and you invest in Ethereum and it doubles, okay? Now you've doubled your money. You take your 10,000 out. Now you have 10,000 to play around with. That's completely house money. That's where you can get hyper risky. The reason why is because it costs you nothing. Now, again, I'm not telling you to do this. I'm just sharing with you what I've done. Okay. I have made good, smart investments that were maybe a little less risky, but still had good upside and they won. So over that net, I'm positive by a lot. From there, I can take mega high risks. And if they don't work out, it's fine because it costs me nothing. But if they do work out and I hit a home run, that's how you can really knock it out of the park. So to me, that is what I don't think people understand. They hear or they don't, they don't get that nuance. So if you want to learn that nuance, I have a whole program teaching you that and showing you what I've done. If you're interested, just click the links down below.
We can't wait to see you and more than 3,600 others have already joined us. And if you want to continue on the journey, cryptocurrency is it's a life-changing game if you do it correctly. I know this firsthand. But also, too, if you don't do it correctly, it can you can end up, you know, wrecking yourself, as they say. So, Jerry, I think we're good on the video. I appreciate you coming back to the channel. Thanks again, and we'll see everyone in the next ones. So stay tuned.